shot, take the shot. You know I'm gonna take the shot, take the shot, take the shot. Hey guys, Tattle to our welcome. <laughs> Some guys want to know the difference between a 12 gauge shotgun and a brake barrel. Today we're gonna show you. Our first target is this 16 inch old Dell display and we want to see how, how durable is it? How durable is it? First time we're gonna use this brake barrel. So as you can see we have the first shot with the brake barrel. And it over here and pass through. No, don't, don't, doesn't pass. Doesn't pass. Through. Doesn't pass. Oh, yeah, with a really durable dial over yeah, here. Yeah, very durable dial. <laughs> you have to do it again. You have to do it again. Let's take a look at this. Oh, yeah, that looks nice. Second shot over here. It doesn't pass. <laughs> it doesn't pass. Okay, <laughs> seems we have to use another gun. Yes, you have so, to use the shotgun. You wanna see if the 12 gauge shotgun will pass through this. So our next try is with this 12 gauge shotgun. Let's see the results. Fire in the hole. <laughs> oh, <wee. laughs> so that looks really interesting. We have one part over here. This kind of piece. Yeah. And the results? Did it pass through? No! no. <laughs> That's a good old Dell display. It didn't pass through. There are some about four meters, yes. three meters. So you have it to try again. Yes, you can one more through. time. <laughs> so we want to try this at three, met three meters and see the results. Fire in the hole. Dude, that's actually a durable display from Dell. Okay. This display is probably built for Western Diesel. <laughs> <laughs> so it made it almost pass through. I think we wanna throw a few shots more at this. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try another shot. Okay, <laughs> this is broken, but three shots with a shotgun and that's actually gone. But it's not that bad, it has a very good shape for three shots with a shotgun. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> really. <laughs> the second target we put on this brick, you will see if it will pass through. First the uh, brake barrel after the shotgun and so we want to see if you are safe in your home and no it's gonna break <laughs> no it doesn't <laughs> what is happening oh, you here see the results? <laughs> here two shots <laughs> but we can see two shots the result this is very safe for your home <laughs> It's very safe. Someone is shooting at you with a brake barrel, you're safe in your house. Yeah, very safe. A brake barrel never goes in. Let's try it again with a shotgun. Right in the middle. Fire in the hole. <laughs> Woo! Woo! <laughs> so! No, we can't see the power of a shotgun. So as you can see, the brick broke in thousands of parts with one shot. Not really, I thought it would be more stronger at this, but yeah. Target destroyed. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Another brick, it's a little bigger now. So we want to see if this brake barrel will make it through. And ready to fire. One, two, three. 
and nothing happened. It seems like it. No, pass through the first. Oh no, it doesn't. Doesn't, doesn't pass. What? Okay. First shot with a small skate at the second break. We want to see what will happen. Fire in the hole. <laughs> 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 so, oh, yeah. that broke it completely. As the first break, too. No chance to resist. <laughs> so, if somebody comes with a shotgun, you're not safe in your home. <laughs> <laughs> so, now I have this tiny lock over here. The problem with this lock is that I can't find the keys anymore. It's closed. So we will see if we, if we can open it with one of these guns. At first we want to try the quick barrel and after that again the 12 gauge. Action. That's a big barrel. No, it's very hard. Yeah. Okay. So, it's... <laughs> so, where is it? Here. Over there. Oh, right here. And we have, yeah. yeah. Tiny, yeah. Just cosmetic destruction. <laughs> cosmetic, yeah. Just like this here. Yeah. Yeah, that actually happens with a hammer. Okay. Another try to hit the lock with this 12 gauge. So, about 3 meters? Yes, probably. Okay. Fire in the hole. Okay. Whoa, where is it? That's actually gone. <laughs> so, the problem with the lock is that we can't find it <laughs> anymore. We literally blow it away, so we don't know what happens with it. We searched over 20 minutes about it. So, what's left is the mark over here. You can see a clear line. Here it was, here it standing, standing it. St standard. <laughs> And he wasn't stranded. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> all you can see is here is the the lead of the from the shell on the 12 gauge. So we have to make another video with a lock. <laughs> it's a a bigger lock. Bigger lock. Bigger lock. <laughs> so that we can find it and it's gone. Yeah. So we have another doubt product. So we want to make another durability test <laughs> and. Uh, so, we will see how, how durable is this. The display was very hard, very durable. And now we're gonna see what's happened with this down product. Here? That's the hollow point yes, using hollow. right now. And now we wanna see if it, if it passed the display. <laughs> okay, I don't know. One, two, three. So, uh, <laughs> in the middle. <laughs> I like that. That's actually a solid notebook. <laughs> I don't know. Direct in the middle. Okay. Almost passed through. Yes. Time to test the other bullet. The other bullet will probably pass through. <laughs> so, okay, fire the hole. Okay. It like passed through. with a different bullet. It passed through. Passed through. You can see it here. Yeah. It's so, that's the second. Wow. And Look at the there. result at the back side. Okay. Yeah, this is really. Very good. Good break, barrel. In the middle. Three, two, one. What's you happening? You can see the, the other display is really harder to destroy. Sorry. <laughs> We have a completely destroyed notebook from Dell. So this, this was not so durable. <laughs> <laughs> this was not so durable. One fire in the hole. Two. Yeah, it's in the middle. <laughs> right in the middle. I like that. So one key is flying away. <laughs> it's actually the the G key. No, G is no. here. Okay. I. I don't know. <laughs> we don't actually know. So we'll see if it passed through. Oh, 
No. Almost. Almost. Yeah. It just popped up here. Yeah. Popped up a little over there. Yeah. But this doesn't. Now we're gonna see how it does with a shotgun. But it, it works then. It works. Very, yeah, it works. Good quality. Good quality. <laughs> Probably it's going here up there. Yeah. Uh huh. So, first try with the shotgun at the keyboard and let's see what it does with the shotgun. 12 gauge. Okay, pointing right in the middle. Three, two, one. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. So the notebook. Let's see over here. So I had a little more keys than just one. <laughs> <laughs> Very, that's a, a lot of keys. <laughs> so we have parts over here, completely broken. Oh yeah. So now you can see the difference between the brake barrel and 12 gauge shotgun. The brake barrel was actually a 5.5. Yes. So. Or so at the next time the shotgun we will play a little bowling <laughs> at the touch and tune. Touch and tune. <laughs> Three, two, one. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> that makes fun. That makes fun. <laughs> so what we have? It's flying away, look dark. So here we have the result on the spray bottles. It actually says all purpose and we use it for all purpose. Oh yeah. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching our first video. Sorry for our very, very good English and a little German accent. <laughs> Please let us know what you want to see in the next video. See you soon. <laughs> see you next time. <laughs> see you next time. Ready normal up. That's how you see it. Oh yeah. <laughs> see you next time. Bye. <laughs> Love it.